it's snowy and it's cold and we want to stay indoors so we're going to and we're going to go look at rvs aren't we yes what have you been up to i've been riding on a date Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream. Today we're going to uh, load up and we're heading out to the RV show and we're going to the IX Center in Cleveland. Now we went to the show last year and was okay with it. Uh, I think that we were expecting more. Uh, this year we're expecting even more. <laughs> Hopefully we can find something that appeals uh, to us so much that we can't refuse. What do you think? Think we're gonna find that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily know either. Uh, but as you guys that have been following us for a while, we've been looking for RVs, and we think, uh, for the most part, we know which model we want. This is kind of like a last ditch effort. We're going up and looking at the RV show and seeing if anything catches our eye, changes our mind, um, or if that model's uh, able to be purchased up there what kind of deal we may get with show pricing. You always hear about that. The show pricing, come up, they're making great deals. Well, we'll see because we have priced out this unit prior uh, to even going up to the show and talking to anybody. And we know what one of the local dealers, approximately what they sell theirs for. So we'll see if they're gonna come close. So let's go. Well guys, we made it to our hotel. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Just like we did last year, uh, the Hotel of choice this year is this home right. to suites by Hilton. And I'm telling you, the last time we stayed in one of these hotels, it was really nice. Now, I know you guys are, you know, RV guys and, you know, you're not planning on you staying in a hotel. Destination but is on your right. I uh, definitely enjoy this place, that's for sure. So, we're going to check in here and uh, start Ubering everywhere we need to go. Yeah. Uh, you have to back out and go to the <laughs> oh, Can you circle these folks out to the close entrance? Sorry. Really? Okay, we'll get out here. So, apparently, you can't be dropped off, even though it says show attendees here. So, we're going to uh, walk it. These guys here are out near us. I think we actually might have. No, we didn't look at that one, remember? And it's funny how last year we wanted to do this Lance. Not this specific model, but one like this in general. how tiny this one is. Avalon don't want you to look at the side of the camera. No, this is a sh this is a sh display only. Oh. That's the way it was last year, remember? Yeah, I remember. And Catalina. Remember how hip yeah. we were on Catalinas? Yeah. This, I could pull this one. We need 
one of these real bad. Let's go this way. Oh, those are tiny. Those are too short. Too short. Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, but this looks bigger for some reason. What's underneath? That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny though because this seems smaller. Okay, guys, so this is the uh, Rockwood 2604 WS. We looked at this last year and they made improvements on this model. Uh, they got a bigger freshwater tank now and uh, they made those sure steps out here um, man, uh, as standard features. Uh, really like this model. It's not very heavy, and this is all under 30 foot. You can see there's we would we would option the booth dinette, but you can see all the seating you get for that. Of course, this is a pull-out bed. We would like recliners back here, but still uh, not bad. Now I noticed that you they got rid of this too. Look. Well, if you have the dinette, right? Yeah. Yeah, the booth dinette. Yeah. I like it better. Right. Good. See so your cabinets here. Oh, I want to see what's this one here. Hold on. There's a uh, storage that goes underneath the sink. Open your door. Can you see my hand? Or oh, well, there's a lot of storage there. It's just. I hope that they purposely have that. You know, it's really it doesn't make any sense. The sink drain is over there. Too. Could have moved it. Well, not because these are all sliders. Yeah. And then this cabinet up here, I guess. Nothing up top. And you're right, though. It does seem smaller for some reason. It's the height. <laughs> you like that? And they had that the corner thing. This floor is so solid. They, they lowered the, the height of this is just a little bit less now. Wait a minute, I gotta step back out again. This has got the shower miser. Just a plastic. Big storage here. Max air. Look, the doors will clear the bed. Yeah. But the bed's short. It is. It's not a full size. Queen. Yeah. Past their story is huge, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the electric jacks now. Alright, so 2608 BS. Is too much shorter yeah. than that one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's basically the same trailer, though, as far as the chassis. I wish we could see the slide in. Look at all that storage you have there. But it has rear. It has some weird fill locations. Um, as far as the uh, water and stuff on the outside, the hookups. They're all on this side. Yeah, they're real odd. As far as the slide being in. That door closed. This door, yeah. You could leave this door open to get into this. Yeah. No, this closed, that open. The bathroom looks smaller. And there's no storage in here for that. But there's more out here. But this doesn't have any outlets to the left or the right of the bed because of the slide. Yeah, there's nothing up here either. So the only outlet you have is here. Yeah. But it's the same weight, same length, same height as the other one. You lose two seats. All right. 
Yeah, the fill. Let's go look at those fills. Remember how goofy they are? Yeah, I already got that. Look back here. Remember? And then, yeah, so we have to bring a hose all the way over here. So you always have to have a longer hose. All right, let's look at this little tiny thing. It's nice. Let's make this a deck. Oh, look how nice this is. This would be my room. It does have a pass-through bathroom. Look at that. Hey, hi, you should check this out. Other, th other than the Murphy bed. Like other than the Murphy bed. Isn't yeah. that kind of cool? Look at, look at all that back there. Yeah. That's a deck back there. Boy, this is a really cool one. Here, let me show you guys what it looks like. Uh, it's a 2019 Wildwood FSX 280 RT. And it's uh, 32 foot long, but it's very lightweight. Uh, 5,537. And you can see, pretty darn low on the price. Yeah. Other than the Murphy bed, I wish this was like a real bedroom. And they... Uh, took away a little bit of the back. Uh, no extra storage in the front there. You guys can see the floor plan here. And it does have recliners. Here, sit in the recliner and tell me what it feels like. Must be a, yeah, there's recliners. Must be a strap. Oh, hey, these are kind of comfortable. <laughs> well, this is uh, what does this look like to you? The same. Yeah, it does look the same. This one does have a dinette, though. It looks chintzier. Actually, it looks like there's no. It's about the same. Yeah, you're right, though. It feels a little, little less in quality. Um, a uh, much more kitchen space here. Look how much more counter. Yeah. No. And there's more storage. Uh. A lot of this looks like in here. Even has the same over the storage here. Let's see what this is like. Ooh, the bed's up real high. Yeah, we got the floor's a little softer in here. Uh, you do not have a medicine cabinet. Oh no. Um, but you do have storage for your linens. Oh, pretty big storage actually. Mm -hmm. Surprising. But no wardrobe. And uh, yeah, the beds. A little bit on the tall side. Very deep in there. Yeah, this one's not so bad. I wonder what the price is on this. Is there any brochures? Okay, let's go over here and take a look out here side. I got the hmm. it's 30 foot. Wonder how they got that extra counter space there oh, no. and drawers it's a nice unit though it's a outside, uh, here's a little one this is what we've been looking at last year <laughs> no, we don't. yeah I'll show you guys what this one looks like real quick for you guys looking for smaller ones it does not have a wall uh, we've always been fans of having a wall here just to divide the bedroom up more um, Everything's pretty compact, you can see. Not very expensive. It comes with people outside staring in at you. <laughs> and uh, nice bathroom. Nice all the way around. No medicine cabinet though. Must be a common theme. But I just thought we'd show you a small one because I don't know how many we're going to see of in the show here. Big pass through. Wow. That's a lot of storage in there. Bunk beds in the back, fireplace up front, pocket doors, something that I think that they should do more of is pocket doors. Heidi would like this. So there's a nice normal closet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is uh, my idea. Yeah, we, we need more pocket doors, guys. I don't know what this is here. 
good weekend. Storage. Good yeah, let's see. Not bad in price. Kind of cool. A bunch of little kids. Yeah. Look at this sink. I like this. This looks yeah. nice. It's very sanitary. Um, yeah, definitely a kid's deal. And there's a door outside. Oh, there's another one we used to look at all the time. There's a 33-footer, uh, though. Definitely longer than what we have won. It's only a single door. It is very nice. You should be able to still access the fridge with the slide in, I think. Um, same recliners as before. Uh, the bathroom is a, a very nice. We've seen these before, guys. Um, storage here, storage there. Let me see if we got some kind of extra lighting in here. I'm not sure. There we go. There we go. Yep, really nice. Showers, pretty big. And then we'll go to the bedroom and see what it looks like in there. Yeah, we got a closet in here too. Yeah, this is a pretty decent unit. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, closet with a light. Hmm. And the bed's nice and short and height. <laughs> Not. But yeah, a little bit too long for us, but still. And uh, show pricing on this one. Let me go ahead and show you guys this. $20,000. Not bad at all, huh? Look at all these RVs. Let's see what we can find here. What we're going to do, guys, is stay close to the same size unit we've been looking for. So we're going to stick around 28 and 30 footers that we're going to look at here. Sorry, we're just not going to be able to go through all of them. Uh, we'd be here way too long. <laughs> and on top of that, uh, uh, we may look at one that if it's really interesting or really crazy. So we'll keep on walking here. Okay, so Heidi was just talking about Arctic Wolf, and she was saying, isn't that what somebody told us to look at? Well, no, it wasn't, and that's the reason that they are putting that name on this thing. The Arctic Fox is an incredible travel trailer and fifth wheel. Now, I just want you guys not to be confused that this Cherokee Arctic Wolf is made by Forest River. It could this, be Arctic Fox, then. Um, it is not Arctic Fox. Arctic Fox is a West Coast manufacturer of zero degree RVs. And they are made way, way better yeah. than what these are here. Don't get me wrong. These are okay. There's nothing wrong with them. And they do have listed an Arctic package. But the other ones are listed for zero degree temperature. That's not the case here. But that's a, a, a marketing thing that they did. Arctic Wolf, Arctic Fox gets you confused. And you think you're buying one. And you're not. <laughs> and you buy the wrong one. Right. Okay, so this one here, it's so... This is the kind of floor plans that I was talking about that they've stepped it up quite a bit. Really like the way they do these things. And I don't know why they have tinted windows up there. They don't. We're going to go ahead and step inside. TV's right here. Um, there's supposed to be chairs here. And then you have that whole back patio. Very inexpensive. You can see, $19,000. And of course you got D-rings and everything else because this is where you would store your toy. Well, I don't care about that. This is where we would be setting up our living area. You know, this being the living area, that's all. Not a lot of counter space. Uh, decent here. Uh, you have a bathroom. You got wardrobe or a storage for towels over top of the toilet there. And then just a standard bedroom up front, but at least it's a standard bedroom. So if you have a toy hauler or you're wanting a lot of room, maybe you want to make your own office, this is a good platform to start off with. It's very inexpensive. I mean, you figure that if you spent another $6,000 on modifications buying furniture that you want, you could make this an office and you'd have that, that view. 
That's nice. Yeah, one of the things we don't really care for too much is whenever they got the slides out on the uh, awning side. You know, it takes away from sitting outside a little bit. But these aren't too bad. Again, big slide that's coming out into the awning area. But let's look in here. It's 37 foot long. A little bit too long. It's prepped for a washer dryer. Nice. I like like this here. Big storage access. Yeah, Heidi don't like the smell. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You're choking me up. That is awful long. Be nice if they made that. Make they wish they make a conversion that would allow you to do that on any RV. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so it's uh, 35 foot long, but don't you guys think this would be nice if somebody offered a conversion that you could do this to your RV yourself and add it? I mean, it really, really opens up the area. Look at how it... Here, just step in more. Doesn't it seem really... It seems weird. Yeah, it does. I mean, it really seems like something out there. I like the color. Uh, can't access the. Uh, oh, who we're kidding? We ain't gonna really get this. The <laughs> this is not. Very nice. Yeah, the colors are nice, but this isn't one that you would be doing anything with, really, like what we want to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, I could be wrong. You guys might want to try that. Here, I'll go ahead and give you the information just in case. It's a 303 RKP. There's the price currently on that. And uh, it is very nice. And the seating, as far as the TV. Um, those seats are kind of out of the way, but yeah, other than that, it works pretty well. Yeah, Sunset Trail, we've talked about these before. Here we go, 251RK. We might have to go the other way. Uh, you'll see. Wow, this is very open feeling. Right? Uh, I don't think you can access the bedroom. This. Holy cow. That is a real pantry. Get, step in there so we can get a scale of size. <laughs> yeah, that is a real pantry. Uh, just this seating here, but uh, not bad. And it's right across from the TV. Uh, there's good counter space. Now let me give you the details on this because this is inexpensive. Let's see that there. And then there's the floor plan, right there. Uh, the floor is, is soft under your feet. Uh, the bathroom is actually very spacious, believe it or not. Oh, um, yeah. It's not bad, you know, they got an extra space there for the toilet. This wall is the closest wall, but it's still plenty. And then this is pretty open, this is pretty big. Uh, only one door. Is there? Yeah, there's a closet. Wow. That's a new. I'll tell you, for a budget RV that you're not really concerned about, you know, four weather capability or anything, this is probably one of the best models that we've seen as far as just the way it looks, the yeah. floor plan. This is nice. Yeah. It kind of looks old school, but not. Yeah, as far as I can tell, the slide, this whenever nice. it's in. Um, I think because of the way this wall is curved, I think you can you can sneak you through. Yeah, if you leave this door open, you can sneak in with the slide in. I don't see any marks on the floor to tell me how far it comes in, but I think you could sneak through there. This is a nice. this is a surprise. This is one of those that I tell you that we were looking for. You know, just a different look. If it had theater seating here, it'd be a little bit nicer. But it's very open feeling. Again, for the money, this is a, a very good deal for a couple's camper. So you guys remember that we're saying, as far as the floor plan's concerned, this has got good storage all the way around, and it's got a good feel, um, and it's got a good layout. Everything's comfortable, easy to get to. We think that with the slide-in, you can get through still. Uh, it's just, I don't know the quality of this one, how good it is, but 
Very nice. I'm glad we've seen something like this. All right, so here's a rear living. It's a 263 RLS. Uh, the steps are a little soft. Much roomier in the back, so this must be longer. I'm guessing this is about 30-some feet. You can't access except through the other door. When this is closed, you're not getting through. There's nothing underneath the seats but lighting. Oh, yeah, there's no storage underneath the seats. Well, I mean, there's storage underneath the bench. You can lift it. Yeah, with this slide in, yeah, you're not getting through here with this slide in. It's, it's too too close. But, there, you can't lift it. Oh, so there's no storage under there. Maybe it's in the outside. Uh, yeah. The bathroom is uh, pretty big. It's got a lot of room in there. And, uh, yeah, of course you got another door, so the whole idea is you would have to do everything you need to out here. Yeah, and there's no closet, extra closet there. Pantry. Whew. Nice seating, or a uh, nice seating to view TV, oh, I, I suppose. That. Oh. That's a nice TV. What size is that TV? Doesn't say. It's a Furion, though. All right. Well, this one's lacking in storage and uh, accessing with the slide in and it's a little long okay guys for you that just want to maybe try out camping for the first time here's a pop-up now this is how we started but this is, nice. this is way better than any pop-up we had wow our kids would have loved this i mean a really nice stove and oven kitchen sink you got a refrigerator you got a microwave and let's check out the bathroom yeah it's a wet bath of course very nice very yeah, nice. this is way better than anything that we would have had back then. And you can see the price there. Yeah, it's cool. Nice. Okay, guys, so we just walked down through all of these RVs, and these are a lot of these are travel trailers. And I don't know if there's going to be a growing movement, but these are all park models. They're all 40 foot long travel trailers. I mean, they're crazy in length, so you might be seeing more of those at a campground. So than what you used to be. Um, I just heard the salesman ask these cu this couple if they're a camper or destination camper. So it must be a, a growing trend. Uh, I don't really see it. Yeah, this one does look like a bus. Okay, let's let's get the details on this one. Yeah. Yeah, this is 40 foot, and you're talking about 11,000 pounds. And again, this must be a, a growing trend that I'm not aware of. This is way bigger than what I would expect. Yeah, I can't imagine us getting into too many campgrounds with this. Very nice little extra bonus room. Oh. <laughs> Why not? We've seen one of these yeah, last year. But it was a fifth wheel. Yeah. So we're going into, uh, there's the bathroom. Pretty standard for the bathroom. And the bedroom has a slide. Really nice wardrobe. But again, no shelves on either side of the bed. This is a, looks like a, a bigger king bed possibly, but it's a short king. Uh, no outlets on either side. Um, TV stand, of course, of some kind there. But yeah, this is definitely something that we're not accustomed to seeing, but I think RVing might be turning a corner. All right, here's one. Heidi's saying she wants this one. Says it sleeps six. You better be friends because you're all sleeping on top of each other. But it does have a nice full bathroom back there. Yeah, there's a uh, relatively light one. See, this is the kind of stuff we were looking at before. Uh, we don't care that it's a, a rear bath, but just to show you, this is this is the kind of length and size that you need really to get around and see everything real easily. This is actually a very nice model. It is. We're not fans of the, the front bedroom, as we've mentioned before. If you guys haven't seen that, we'll go ahead and recap. Uh, in the middle of the night, which we're getting older, we make many trips to the bathroom, possibly. 
and uh, you get to walk through this traffic area, this high traffic area, to get to the bathroom. And uh, especially if your slide is in at night, you get to walk through right in front of the entrance of the door. And uh, the reason your slide would be in is because you're boondocking, let's say overnight at Walmart, just for the night. Or you're in a truck stop just for the night. You're not going to put this out. So that door is going to be blocked off. So you're going to have to walk about where Heidi is and you're going to have to come through here just to get to the bathroom. Um, which is a very nice bathroom. We always like rear bathrooms because they have so much room in them. They got a lot of storage. Uh, anything that's indicated on the sticker like rear bath or rear kitchen or rear living usually has that area thought of even more. But yeah, it's kind of nice. Since uh, those are basically Class A's and these are all motor homes, and not only that, but we're talking that everything here is pretty much general RV and camping world. Now, we've already been to both of these locations and we've walked through all these units, so there's no sense in us even messing around with looking at these. Uh, again, we've already showed these in previous videos, and other than maybe the Apex Ultralights here, those are the only ones we were ever interested in that they offered, so we'll, uh, we're gonna skip most of these and we'll just we'll pick it up whenever we get into some of these other manufacturers or other dealers in this case again general rv and uh, camping world we've already been to those locations all right guys so it's the next morning we didn't close out last night uh we had a little dinner get together with greg and juanita and wandering wagners yeah wandering wagners mike um, and lynn you guys probably watch their videos and uh we've been trying to convince uh Greg to get a channel. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be the case, but yeah, we had a good time. Uh, we caught Uber back here then uh, and just kind of vegged out. Uh, didn't do much. Uh, watched some TV and that was about it. Uh, this morning got up, had a great breakfast. Uh, last year we stayed at the hotel next door, the Courtyard Marriott. Uh, this year we're staying at Homes to Suite, which is a pretty decent hotel. We like uh, the one that we stay at when we uh, go to the casino <laughs> out in the uh, Austin town area, but uh, we're going to head out this morning um, and back to the show, see what other RVs we might be able to uh, catch under our noses that might put a smell into our brain that we decided we like. Speaking of smell, <laughs> what is the deal with, we know these new ones have a lot of off gassing. But wow, some of them are so strong. Heidi couldn't even go into them. She just like turned right back around. She's like, ah, oh, this, this one stinks. We're out of here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're going to go look today a little bit more. And just to clarify, all the ones, again, that's at General RV and uh, Camping World, we're not going to look at those because we pretty much looked at all of those. Um, I, I'm not going through all of those again. But there's other manufacturers there, so... Let's uh, step that way and see what we can find. All right, guys, so this is one of the things that I was talking about. Seems like there's a lot of park models, um, but we will look at this one first. 2860 RL, uh, it's 32 foot long, a little bit longer than what we want to do. Um, really nice open layout. This is kind of cool. It's because it's 32 foot long. <laughs> inexpensive though I like this setup yeah well the reason is is because it's two foot longer so they can put something there that you don't have to move with right. the slide in uh, speaking of which with the slide in it's got a little bit of counter space looks like too. you can get to the uh, bathroom with the slide in because they've got it at an angle I think yeah yeah it's really nice but you can't get into the kitchen <clears throat> oh yeah I guess yeah, that would be a thing. Well, this is pretty nice. We do like the layout of this one a lot. It's very, very open. But again, at 32 feet, it's just too long. Yeah, 38 feet. You can see the floor plan here. No, 39, 39 feet. Yeah, this is 40 foot. That is way too big. It's got a sectional on the front. So this is a destination <laughs> camper. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit too much for us. Now, Moore's RV is where we bought our, or I'm sorry, where our RV came from originally back in 1992. Uh, let's see, 2910. It's got a front 
uh, bedroom and it's got bunk beds. We're not really into that and it's 33 foot long so I don't know that much about these Aspen trails. The, the material seems to be a little bit on the plasticky side. It, it, it's not bad though. It's, it's not the cheapest that I've seen. Yeah, Heidi hates the smell in here. It's really got an off gas. But for you guys that have kids, this is a big little playroom for them. Come back here and just make all kinds of noise. But that's all the bathroom you get. Yeah. Oh well. Alright, here's a rear kitchen. It's 32 foot long, but it does have pretty decent seating. It's got the uh, sure steps. And you can see it's a... Uh, Recliners. We want these recliners really bad. We, we definitely want recliners. These are Thomas Paine. If I had to buy these, if I had to buy recliners for the RV that we find, these are the recliners that I'd buy because they're really good quality. Um, as far as I can tell, you may not be able to access your refrigerator with a slide in. It's real close. You, you might be able to. You, it, there's a chance. Uh, about the there so look like all the more you can open it so but the layout's nice plenty of seating very comfortable but it's a little bit on the long side like I said before and you're not going to see anything out of the ordinary here uh, except a decent linen closet walk through bathroom and then uh, really no wardrobe to speak of other than the closets that are on either side and there are outlets no USB but again, pretty decent for the money, especially. Yeah, I didn't show you that, did I? Yeah, twenty thousand dollars. That's a that's a good price for something that's this long. Again, I don't know that much about the uh, quality, but it seems okay. Yeah, as far as these models and the quality, uh, they are comparable. It looks like Forest River, uh, like their Wildwood series. Yeah, another fifth wheel. For a fifth wheel, this has some really small storage. This isn't very much for a fifth wheel. I would expect the bay to be bigger than that. Because it's not a drop floor. 35 foot. And you got bunks in the bed. No? Yeah, it's... Ooh, I don't like it. Well, they have to do that. It's open? Where else are they going to put it? And yeah, why would they not bend it? That's true. Uh, let's see, this one here is, uh, wow, 36 foot long. It's got a front bed, I'm sure. It's got a little room in the back. Yep, sure does. Uh, $20,000 for this one. Again, quality's okay. Uh, I don't know if you can access anything in the back uh, with the slide in, but there is a door. Uh, the shower is real short as far as um, the floor of the tub is tall but the overall height is pretty short because it's so tall however it looks like there might be enough headroom there a little cubby for some books that's kind of interesting pantry wardrobe I suppose and then this area back here a lot of kids you got a lot of kids this is definitely the one to get uh, you know something like this I should say um, bunk bunk that makes into a bed and then another bunk. Okay, here's a cougar. We thought about these pretty heavily. Um, it's 30 foot long, actually 31 foot long. Uh, the gray water is only 30 gallons. However, the uh, black is 60 and the fresh water is 60. It's a decent layout, except uh, the bedroom's in the front, not a big deal. Um, bathroom there. Wow, but there's plenty of counter space for the kitchen. Looks like it's it's pretty decent. Um, this isn't too bad. Yeah, this is this is kind of nice quality. Uh, again, the worst part is is if we have people stay over, this would have to be a pull-out bed because my computer is most likely going to be set up on the table, and I'm not going to mess with it once it's set up. Uh. Price is pretty reasonable, $28,580. Uh, got a rooftop air there. 
got a uh, vent, just a standard vent in here. Shower's okay. I like the skylight. Um, the floor is soft. Underneath my feet, it moves a lot. That's one thing that I, I really don't like on a lot of these. No wardrobe other than these closets here uh, for storage. There's no linen storage uh, for the uh, bathroom except whatever you might be able to sneak underneath here. But that's it. Other than that, this layout back here, I love the way that it looks. All right, so this one is 31 and a half feet. It's a double door and it's a rear living. So let's just call it 32 feet. It has sure steps on this end or whatever you want to call them. Uh, because of the extra length, you would think that they would do something back here when it, where you wouldn't be required to move these when you close this up, but that's not the case. I like the color of the material. The couch seems to be pretty decent. There's definitely more kitchen counter space than most, but wow, look how huge this sink is and how much it takes up of the the thing. Yeah, I mean, that's why Heidi and I converted our old RV into that single bar sink. Um, we don't need that much sink unless we just want to keep on throwing our dirty dishes in there and then eventually wash them. Are those drawers actually... Wow, that nice. is big. Those are big drawers I'm right there. By that. Yeah, Heidi likes that. We got little drawers here. Lots of storage underneath there. Uh, storage up top. We have a pantry over here. Another big pantry here. But that's what you expect out of these type of lengths. When the slide in. When the slide in, you cannot access this part of the camper at all unless you go out the other door. The bathroom is fair. There is no extra storage in here except for what's underneath the sink, so there's no towel storage at all. And going into here, there's no extra wardrobe storage other than what you see on either side of the bed. Very nice layout. A uh, little bit on the dark side, but overall it's lit up pretty well. Yeah, not bad. All right, here's a double door. Winnebago Mini. We looked at that one last year. Uh, you're talking very short, 28 foot long. Just the sofa and a dinette, no extra seating there. The bathroom's relatively big. And when you close this, I don't know how much you can access that part. or little RVs. A little bit too small for what we want. This one's a bunk model. Let's see what this next one we can actually get into. Alright, so here's Camper Care, which is out near us. Real close. They're about 10 miles from our house. And although this has bunk beds, it does have a double door. It's 33 foot long. That's awful, awful long in our case. But, I know. Thought we'd take a look at it. Oh yeah. Double bunks. Bathroom's okay. Yeah. That TV needs to be bigger. It is a double door. Not much for wardrobe. Oh well. Just kind of ho hum. I, I don't think anything bad about this. If you have kids, it might be perfect. It's not very expensive, but 21000 I think you might be able to find something a little bit better. All right, guys, so we're all done at the IX Center. Uh, you've seen a little bit that we checked out today. Our Uber driver's coming to pick us up, and we're pretty much done. Now, to let you guys know, one of the RVs that we saw at the show is going to most likely be in our possession. I want you guys to guess which one. As far as this show is concerned, we're heading back home uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to head back to the hotel tonight and just kind of enjoy ourselves. It has nothing to do with RVs. So... As always, hope to see you out there. Bye, guys. Bye.